The high-profile nature of international conferences has long been known to have the multiplier effect of attracting business travelers and allowing them the opportunity to go on leisure trips. It is this class of tourists that the management of KICC wants to tap into by attracting more international conferences. To achieve this, KICC, with the support of the Ministry of Tourism, is advocating for the allocation of land adjacent to the centre to enable it to expand its facilities to include a top-of-the-range convention centre and hotel facilities. Bureaucracy of getting land is government land. Just transfer it to KICC as a government institution takes years then we have a problem. The four-year strategy seeks to diversify Kenya's tourism product offering, enhance efficiency and increase the number of conference facilities. And there we are. And the strategy is launched. The journey has just begun. We have a number of circuits which I can mention like Mombasa. I can mention like Mount Elgon, M Mount Kenya. We have another one in Western. We have another one in Nyanza in the North Rift and South Rift. So I was imagining if we just have half, quarter, an eighth of this uh, KICC transferred in those areas, how would tourism be like? Balala says his ministry is keen on taking actions that will promote the growth of conference tourism across the country. I believe the Ministry of Land will fast track it and my PS is following it very carefully so that this land is allocated so that by end of the year, I'm going to announce the expression of interest of investors to come and build a convention center. Some may call the strategic plan ambitious, but if all goes well and barriers such as corruption, bureaucracy and lack of capital are overcome, the land I am standing on could one day be Africa's most modern meeting destination. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Business.